Hello everybody, it's Walter, your favorite historian, educator, professor, and social studies extraordinaire here today to give you the closing progress report on the last day of class for Baltimore and the Civil War, the very first class I have ever taught as a college professor. The date is December 12, 2023. In our concluding class, we did final presentations. Each student had to choose a person or event in relevance to Baltimore and the Civil War, uh, do a small paper, and then present their findings on today, the last day. All right, and everything went well. And I thank them at the end of the class for being, you know, a very thoughtful, a very attentive, you know, essentially a very uh, easy group to work with, being that this you know, concludes my very first semester teaching as a college professor. Uh, I am very appreciative, you know, of them of not being a difficult class for my first semester teaching. Uh, now, when I teach U.S. History two in the spring 2024 semester, uh, next semester of course, uh, I have a much larger class. So I can only hope that they too uh, will be, hopefully, easy to work with, uh, but I'm not going to set myself up for failure and presume that, all right? I'm pretty sure I'll have some people in that class that were a lot like me in U.S. history courses or U.S. government courses or law courses, you know, and like to call out answers or try to teach the class as I'm teaching it at the same time. You know, I might have to rain down on the ringers, but in any case, we'll let next semester bring whatever it brings. In any case, I'm ready. But I just want to reflect for a second uh, on this semester and also say that during this course, I have learned, I've gone from being a complete, completely green professor to an individual who is now much more understanding of what it takes to properly communicate with students, what it takes to help them understand what I'm teaching, when I'm losing them in the course of a lecture, what I need to do to bring them back in, you know, how to present lectures overall, and how to gather information to present it to teach, all right? A lot of this information may seem quite simple or like, duh, but it's not. And I would like to say that teaching of and in itself, while not a difficult thing, is certainly more challenging if you've never done it before than meets the eye. You have to prepare for class. You have to prepare to teach the information. Even if you are thoroughly, thoroughly, you know, encyclopedic in nature with the information that you're teaching, it still requires you to be at the top of your game, especially if you're teaching in front of a group of students who in some cases may know just as much about the subject as yourself. You know, I count myself among that uh, category when it came to certain classes in college and undergrad, depending on uh, what the class was and who the instructor was. But in essence, you've, you've got to be at the top of your game. And you know, if you have a student body that's not really that knowledgeable about the subject, then you might be able to get away with not always being prepared. But if you've got a student body that's certainly knowledgeable about this material, you better make darn sure always, as my uh, late former professor, Dr. Thomas Carney used to say, you better make damn sure that you're at the top of your game, that you know what the heck you're talking about. And this semester has definitely taught me that. Uh, you never want to let your students be ahead of you with information, all right? And I have learned, you know, how to be a professor. I'm still new. I'm not going to hardly pretend that I've been teaching for 20 years. I'll get there, Lord willing, one day. But for now, I am much more confident uh, in this position now to go into my next semester in spring 2024 to teach U.S. History too than what I was to teach this semester uh, Baltimore and the Civil War. Remember, it's, this was my first time teaching uh, a class period. And uh, I have, again, never taught in elementary school. I have never taught in high school. With respect to the uh, profession 
I went right to the top in teaching at the college level, academia, never in education per se. So it's kind of like AOC, uh, AOC's journey in uh, serving in Congress. You know, she never served on any local level or the state level in politics. She went right to Congress, all right, and is doing the darn thing, I'll say. And that's kind of like it is with me. Never taught kids, only taught adults. And, you know, I, like I said, I hope for me anyway, I thank you all for all your support, all of my friends, my family, my coworkers, you know. And, you know, I hope this is the beginning, as I mentioned in the very first video I ever made, done on my very first day teaching this course back in August. I hope this is the beginning of a very long, healthy, productive, and intellectually fluid and stimulating relationship with Stevenson University in every way, shape, and form. Uh, I may be a professor, but learning never stops, ladies and gentlemen. And as I teach more and more classes, I only hope to add to my knowledge to truly bring this university to add to the scholarship and add to the intellectual prowess of this great university. Thank you, Stevenson, and most especially, thanks to you, Dr. Glenn Johnston. I appreciate all of you, I appreciate all your support, and I hope to continue to make these videos, updating you on my progress, demonstrating how far I have come. So I want you to take care of yourselves, stay safe out there, believe in yourself, dream, try, and do good. All the words of my timeless teaching role model, Mr. George Feeney, have a great day, folks. Professor Shelton, out.